There's big Patrick Young. Patrick Young, Jackson Fazone, such a great career for Florida, going all the way to a Final Four in his senior year, playing in those Elite Eights as well. Young played overseas for a few seasons. Injuries have hurt his playing career, but this young man has been thinking about life after basketball for a while. And he's now in business right here in Jacksonville as a co-owner of the Prototype Escape Room right off St. John's Bluff. Well, my first experience was when I was actually overseas in Greece, oh. and I did so many of them and fell in love with the concept. Mm -hmm. And uh, fortunately, I met this guy that already had a, a vision and plan for doing one himself. He just needed a little bit of help. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just so grateful to be a part of something that's original. Yeah. Yeah. What, it, what makes it so much fun, so enjoyable? Well, in, in this day and age, um, people are so connected to their phones. As Joe was just mentioning, uh, everyone, the, our crux is just the first to look at our phone, even if there's idle time. Uh, we love the concept that you have to be so present, mm -hmm. that you have to communicate, uh, that you have to think outside of the box and to work together with people just for an hour, even if it's just something different to do. And we just love that concept. Uh, you can be so creative with the rooms, which is what uh, Joe has been able to do. I've been able to help out with that a little bit. And every experience is different. So we're, we're just excited that we can bring that here to Jacksonville. What did you know about Patrick in terms of his... I mean, he's kind of a big deal in Jacksonville and well-known in the athletic community. I knew absolutely none of it. Yeah. Growing up near Los Angeles, I had no clue. Right. I just, some guy named Patrick called me. He was a friend of a friend, and then we met up, and I was like, you're really tall. And that was, that was really, I think I found out like two or three days later who yeah. he actually was. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of cool how it happens. Uh, for you, as you wind down basketball, now you're looking to become a businessman, right? So tell, tell me about that transition for you. Yeah, it's exciting. I think um, my identity and values have been revolved so much around basketball and, and those things that um, I think true growth comes when you do something uncomfortable, something different, really expanding yourself. And this was a step for me to do that. You know, I, I did something through a franchise before, but now being a part of something that's completely original, that we have uh, brainstorm meetings all the time where we have to create these concepts and be like true entrepreneurs. We're grinding right now. Like we're in the beginning stages of something and we have a vision for it. So we can't wait to see where it goes. What do you take from playing sports, the hard work, determination to apply in the business world? Um, consistency. Mm -hmm. um, it's Communication is vitally important for us to continue to go back to the drawing board, mm -hmm. to go back to the film, um, go back to the tape, and how can we do better? Mm -hmm. How can we learn from this? How can we uh, continue to stay on the same page? And, and Joe and I, we, we do that uh, so much. He's always teaching me. He's always showing me so many things, giving me books to read, and I'm all for it. Are we done with basketball now as far as playing basketball? Is your career over, Patrick Young? <laughs> no, I don't think my career is over. Um, but as for right now, I'm staying in. In this season of where I presently am, this uh -huh. is the most important time where I am. I'm going to continue to work and train, mm -hmm. but right now my focus is being as helpful as I can for my partner mm -hmm. and uh, just working on something different in my life. It's, it's been really nice slowing life down and not being overseas. Yeah. I get to see my family every yeah. day. Yeah. I get to see my dogs. Uh -huh. I love it. It's great. Are you telling me that if Kazakhstan called or uh, Mongolia or somewhere, across the world called and said, Patrick, come play hoops, what would you say? Um, How much? I probably, <laughs> uh, it, it, it was really difficult for me to decide to leave last time. Yeah. Um, I was just so glad that I got a blessing from my grandparents. They're so uh, near and dear to me being older. Mm -hmm. um, and they were like, you know, at the end of the day, Patrick, you, you don't want to have a regret that you didn't take another chance mm -hmm. of doing it. Mm -hmm. And I went, I did it, it didn't work out, and now I'm here. I'm happy. I'm, um, I'm very happy where I am. I just can't wait to see uh, what's next for me in this thing we call life. Yeah, and, and, and as you go through it, when you went to school, and listen, we've always enjoyed talking to you, and you're, you're, you, know, you're so, you share so many different thoughts with us. But So what was your, you know, now that is basketball so, sort of moving in the rearview mirror, what is your long-term vision for you? Like, what, is this the kind of thing you want to be a part of, business and owning your own business? And... Uh, yeah, you know, I, I think that because my life, as I said earlier, was so revolved around just basketball uh -huh. that I put other important parts of my life on the back burner. So thankful for my parents that they did stress the importance of my 
education. I did get my degree. But we all know sports, NFL stands for not for long. It ends for everybody at some point. So you have to have a vision for what who you want to represent one day, what's going to be your legacy. For me, I, I want to, as a black man, as a, as a minority in this country, I want to be someone that can uh, be a role model, not only just for being an athlete, but how I carry myself in the community, um, how I strive to reach my potential in every area of my life, and one day have a family and continue to do that in my son and daughter one day and instill those same principles and just make everybody proud that I know. Uh, he's already making us proud. Uh, thank you, Patrick, for the time and good luck.